Welcome to Short Scale Modeling. This is part three of the Revell Dallas Boot Scale 12144 build. In part two, I concentrated on working on the props and rudders. Uh, this part, I'm going to be starting off with the command tower, and we'll see how far we go on from there. So let's jump into the build. So building up the command tower here, just getting the parts ready. This little collar here, um, it's a uh, Difficult uh, to understand which way it goes up. The, there's a little lip here that faces upwards. And uh, the thing to note is the underside is painted in the um, Humbrol 57, Humbrol, sorry, my apologies, the Rebel 57 grey colour. And the upside is a uh, Rebel 79, which is blue grey. Well, I'm just going to paint that in now. I don't know why the colour change, but you know, there it is what it is. So while that's trying, I'm just going to assemble the outer structure. Yeah, that will do that. And the next part of the tower, there is a, this little inlet thing, plate that goes on the inside. So I'm using Rebel 364, and it's um, leaf green. And this is for one of the location lights, locator lights. And it's just a tiny little bit on here. But it's a good idea to paint it in now. The instructions suggest to paint it in now anyway. We do it now, you have more control and make it easier to paint. And then also, I'm using 301 Silk White for another little light thing right at the edge. It's just a tiny little dot. And on the opposite side, it's a 330 Fiery Red, and for the location light, of Beacon Light. And there's no little white one on this side, it's just on that one. So that's the two done now. So I'm going to do a little bit of weathering on the inside of it. This part you'll see on the inside. This part in here you will not see. So I'm using Tamiya's Weathering Master C and the gunmetal component. I'm using my brush sharpener just to put a little bit of pigment on the tape and just running it down the ridged area. Not much, just a little bit. And I'm also going to be doing it on the outside as well and any ridged area. Just a very slight colour to uh, change. So to complete this section in our parts, there's a couple of little funnels that I have to put in. Again, it's better to do this before it's all assembled and trying to get them in. And also, the reason why I'm doing this now instead of later on, because instructions say build this part first, is this gets some in situ and dry by the time I get to this part. So now it's um, 78 tank grey and I'm going back to these little funnels and I'm just going to put just on the tip a little bit of change of colour. Now I'm not sure whether you'll see this or not once it's actually inside the, the model but it's a good practice to do it and on this part here it's just these settler part that has the colour. So this next part it says assemble once these two pieces are together. Um, I sort of disagree with that um, because it would be uh, more difficult to fit. So I'm going, just going to assemble it now. Yeah, it's difficult enough to fit now, never mind when it's actually joined together with the other half. And this circular part then goes in, just drops in, like so. And the final, final part is the little claw thing here. Now there's a little nick in there that goes in between the pylon, the, the part I just placed down. So this uh, circular part with the stem. Just make sure you fit that in first before finding this up. There's a little groove 
the normal part fits into. It's fairly straightforward. So you, you end up with that sort of scenario. So you can see why you decided to assemble it before I put the two halves in together. This you do assemble before you put the halves together, of course. But uh, this little bit just would have been a lot more fiddly trying to get this end threaded through to that part there. So before I joined the other half, there was a little um, injection pin uh, remnants here. I'm just uh, taking this off with my knife. Um, there's no point in sanding it down and filling it in because you won't see this part. And just getting it level enough so this little collar will fit into it. It's just a simple case of uh, placing the two parts together. There is a little location pin uh, on the join uh, for you to line it up. And the little collar just goes in the groove like uh, it did on the opposite side. So that's all the sort of symbol is done now. So it's time to put all this together. Before I uh, fit this uh, part on onto the main structure, make sure that you get all the little bars off. Um, I just let it go dry fit in it and it fits wonderfully well but if you've got any little bits um bar still showing that you may have not noticed when you took it off the sprue just make sure they are gone um because otherwise it'll be quite difficult to fit so i'm just putting the cement right around the edge and it simply just fits in here. You just line up the recess points with the location points. Fairly simple. So that's the first bit. Um, it's a good idea to, to hold the part as well. We sell like this crocodile uh, clamp here. Um, it just makes it easier. So once that's uh, a little bit more dry, I'll put it all together. So before I assembly um i'm just um weathering the part as well decided to do a bit of weathering on the outside so this time you weather must and see it again and it's the gunmetal component once more and what i'm doing here i'm just going to open the rivets yeah, to make them stand out i always like the the, the effect that it produces doing this it doesn't matter if you go offline uh, a little bit. All you do is just make a mark on it, make a tiny little marks, and that's putting the weather. It's just easier to do it now as I, I did with this one before you assemble it. Also, there's a little seam line here that I'm not happy with, so I'm just going to get rid of that. And I'm glad I noticed that before I put it on. I tend to forget about the seam lines now and again. Now I'll just repaint that in the 57 colour. So now it's time to connect the main part to this. This just slips on. There's, we'll turn it upside down so we how it connects. So it's just like a little collar that goes around to line up. So you shouldn't have any problem connecting this. I almost missed off a part of this um, little part here, where, where I put it, here it is, this little part here, and that goes inside, there, yeah, luckily I can get it in, that's just so that like it, the, the bracket's going to hold the, the main mast there, so it's now time to put the two parts together, the, the mast here goes into that little hole there. Now I think this is a good place to end part 3. Just almost assembled it. If you haven't done so already, why don't you check out the channel for my other builds, particularly this one. If you subscribe to the channel, you'll be notified of the updates for this build and future builds. Hit that like button and of course leave a comment. But for now, thank you all very much for watching. Bye bye.